and this vintage Miss Piggy photograph with Kermit being the photographer sheet set. Don't have the pillowcases, but the fitted and the flat sheets in there. This crochet blanket because of the colors, the 70s colors. Blue and greens, real pretty. 70s colors, then that one. This green blanket with a fringe, little flowers in the center. And then I got this cute baby quilt with the doggies and cats on it and bears. And maybe a couple little Pots. Haven't tried treating it yet, so I'm not sure. Then I picked up some baby clothes. A romper. These are some bloomers that were by themselves. Cute little bathing suit. And then this little bathing suit. I never get lucky and find bathing suits. This is, and then this pair of overalls, a button in the back. This pocket, I'll stitch that pocket up. And I love these little shorts. This reminds me of shorts we had when I was little. Little skirt and shorts. Cute little top. These might be able to go with that. That'd be cute together. Little dress. It's missing a button here. But I just love the flower colors. The belt needs to be sewn back on. Easy fix. Little dress. Little baby sweater. And it's vintage. Uh, Minnie Mouse dress. Probably caught more like costume from Walt Disney. The collar's plastic. See how big those buttons are. Cute little dress. Here's some industrial type items, office items. A lot of stuff that my husband likes to pick up. Not sure what this is, but some kind of wood block. He's probably gonna put pins in it or something. Got some of these old vintage uh, name tags that go on your desk. Has the blue green felt on the bottom of them. That was on the dollar table at one of the booths. We always pick up these kind of signs, these metal signs. We like to hang them on our porch. And then he picked up this magnifying glass. It was kind of cool, unique. And he just like this, he wants to put your thing on it and use it as a stand. And here's a few things that we got off of a dollar table at a, maybe a couple of different places. I always love Raggedy Ann and Andy, and these are two um, patches. And I always pick up little people when I see them, if I don't already have them. And I'm collecting brooch pins right now. And these are two colorful yellow and orange 70s colors magnets. I want to put on my fridge. Uh, I'd like to do my kitchen in this kind of theme, but... My husband's not quite agreeing with me. And a vintage milk glass. This is probably a spice container. No lid, but it was only a dollar. So he picked it up. This is a from a car. He said what car it was. I don't remember, but SS I don't, Camaro. I don't remember what he said. I'm wrong. I could be wrong. But then I picked up some of these plastic frogs. The metal ones are real expensive and I'm using these 
frogs to do my um, display of pins in. Now I just picked up these plastic ones. I don't even know if they're gonna work for the pins, but the metal pins, they fit in there real well to display. So that's a few things that we got there. Some Halloween stuff I found. Still in the box. And it's from, I think the date on here says 1995, 96. And it lights up. You can see how really big it is. This is cute. And I think it, I got it half price, 499 cents. And then I got this crazy old witch. She has a little pumpkin under there. It's not a bell. It just goes with it. But this looks to be handmade. I just thought it was weird and cute. It was cute weird. And then she was cute. Halloween stuff is so cute. This is a little smushy thingy. I may keep her too. That's Bulldog. Already two of my kids wanting. I don't know why. They're not into vintage things. One said he wanted to use him as a hood ornament. Yeah, okay. No. Nope. He's kind of heavy. Got this Tupperware sugar container. I remember having this when I was a kid. I picked up this bear. Um, Wilson cake pan. He's a small bear and it had all of his clips and his stand. I got in trouble before because I sewed a cake pan without clips in the stand without the stand, but I didn't know and it wasn't in the picture. So what you see is what you get and what you see is what you get here. I grabbed this because of the colors. And I guess it's a tablecloth. It's got a hem all the way around it, and it's a square tablecloth. But I love the colors, the brightness of it. So I picked it up. I picked up this Valentine sign. I had one a smaller one. It was only like half this size, and it sewed. So I thought, I'll get this. I don't never see Valentine's that much. Get this picked up this vintage pillowcase as a standard size and I always pick up sheet pick up sheets and pillowcases when I see them got this these two throw pillows that are needlepoint real pretty flowers and lace Again, when I see Fisher Price, I usually pick it up. I have one of these, but when you find it as low as that, I will pick them up to read. We sell a lot of toys. Now this was in it. It's not the Fisher Price people, but it's all this a lot of Sesame Street people, so I'll probably sell these separate. But this does go with it. And that was the only bright piece that went with it. And then I found this Fisher Price camper. I have the truck to it and I don't have this piece, so I'll probably keep it. Here's some gold silverware I picked up. All the different pieces that are in here. I don't know how big of a set it is yet. I'm gonna sort this out and see. It's gold. Picked it up for eight dollars. We'll see how it does. I picked up this vintage square that somebody started maybe a quilt or something with. It was three dollars. I didn't realize there was a square missing, but I can fix that. Put something in there. I'm gonna put it on a big throw pillow and make a pillow out of it. When I see fabric, I get it when I find it. And then here's a cute little baby dress I picked up. I always pick up vintage baby clothes. It's an addiction of mine. But I do have small grandchildren that I 
do dress them up in and take their pictures. But I like this one. It has crayons, pencils, and brushes. I am a photographer as well, and I'll do photo scenes with the outfits that I get. And then I got this little outfit, this onesie outfit. This is adorable. I don't think, it's not a bathing suit. It's just a romper, a jumper, which I thought was so cute. And then the last thing I found at Goodwill is this outfit from, has little pennies on it, from Chocolate Soup. It's definitely vintage. I'm not sure the year, but has a straps over it and has penny buttons has the straps going across the shoulder and it has these penny buttons which is real cute i love this applique here and it had the long pants it's a size 12. so i picked it up we'll try it i picked up this vintage bathing suit with flowers on it. It's so cute. I'm going to make my daughter wear it. She did think it was cute, so that's one reason why I got it. So, it was $12. So, if you saw something you like, let me know in the comments below. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And I hope you subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.